Hey, it's Parkin Chris, and I have a quick video for you. It's a tutorial on how to mod your character's appearance. Like, you change their clothes, color. If you want to make them blue, you can make them blue. If you want to make them orange, green, you can make an alien character if you really wanted to. Not necessarily, but there is kind of an alien character in a sense. But you get to change your character's color palettes. And I got this comment from Proton PKM. So I want to do a show a tutorial on how to do that. And it all starts with this website, which I'm going to link in the description below. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website and you want to download the first tool that you see, the 2.6.4. Um, basically, this is going to be the tool that you use to customize your characters and change the color palettes. Um, I don't quite remember what this does. I don't remember. What, I think you can import with this one. Maybe I'm wrong. But this one lets you change the graffiti. Like um, the one that you see with the dude. Um, the hot dog one. You can change the hot dog one to like Stitch or something if you really wanted to. So let me go ahead and show you how to get this part done though. But this part, it's not that difficult. Uh, you just put it in your files for the actual game and then just import whatever you want or whatever you feel like you want in the game so starting off you need to make sure that you have your file that you want to mod that means the one that you want to make changes to in the first one and in the second one you want to make it so that you so you should have two copies of every file that you have just so that you can revert it if need be um, because if you mess up you may want to go back otherwise you just messed everything up for yourself because okay. there are some files that you do not want to touch and I just want to make that clear uh, this is only for photoshopping and all that I don't think this is important necessarily unless you have like modded Xbox I'd assume you already have your files ready since I uh, gave you the basis for how that is done all right so these are the players that you can customize, meaning the playable characters, and these are your enemies. So this includes the airplane, well not the airplanes, but the jets, the, let's see, the little things that you switch off in the timer and the, what's it called, forbidden? Something? Fake fan, fake fan, fortified rather dish with them. I'm sorry, I can't remember. This is the this is the bad version of NT3000. You can go into these. These are the characters. So these are like the people that run around and yell at you and scream at you and do all that other stuff. There's the cats. There's the dogs. The birds are somewhere in here. Yeah, these are the birds. But yeah, you can change all three of these ones. Do not touch the garage. Basically, don't touch anything else that I didn't show you. Um, I could be wrong about some of them. Just I'm, I'm warning you. Don't don't mess anything up because it could make it so that your your game is corrupted, and then you'd have to revert to original file. So or start all over. So definitely definitely don't do that. So. Let's go ahead and start something real quick. I'm going to save my changes so that I can actually have every. Well, I'm going to make sure that I have everything just so that I don't lose it. And I'll be right back. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm going into Photoshop and I'm saving them as a PNG in my downloads rather than the folder that they're going to be in that they need to save over. That way if I mess up I can just pull them back and get them back and I can use my old design if I wanted to and just re-import them. Hope that helps. Okay. So now that we have this character all finished, let's go ahead and get into it. So, so now that we have this character all reset, we can go ahead and go into our Photoshop or our paint, whatever we want to use to edit, and we can start editing. And if you don't know where to find your Photoshop or your editing software then you can just go ahead and go to the properties of that and then just link it to that directory 
Okay, so basically what you do is you go here, go to Preferred Text Editor, and then put the location of Paint, Photoshop, whatever you use to do your photo editing, and then just copy the directory location thing right there. And then it'll just auto-open whenever you edit your picture. So, this is the face, this is the body, this is the Elytra. I just put that back on real quick. So, I'm going to make the eyes red. Because, or actually, I'll make one red and the other one blue. And because I just don't want to go into all the little pixels and all that, I'll just make it 180 for now. Like 3D glasses or something. And then yellow teeth, because gold. Oh no. And then right. Okay, that'll work too. And keep in mind these colors are similar, so let me go ahead and make them purple, I guess. The lavender. Okay, not too close still. So I'll watch back the video that I was making to show y'all what the end result is. And the blue part actually does nothing. As far as I'm concerned. Um, it's not the electricity in the boss fight. You can actually change that though. Under enemies. Not under playable characters though. So I just don't know what it is. If you know, please let me know. But it's not the actual light trail. So you don't have to worry about it. Well, now you can see as soon as I push this button, it saves it in here. You have to save it on Photoshop first. Um, sometimes it'll ask you to save it as PNG, other times it'll save you, will save as BNP. So, the face doesn't represent what it will look like in the game entirely. And I'll show that off later. So I'm going to change that and I think this part is the one like that little ring around the back of his head. And this is his shoe. So I'll give him some I feel like some orange shoes. Make them a little bit different. Because I, I was gonna make them black, but these things are gonna make it well. Actually, yeah, that might be the back of the shoe. And just for fun, I'll just do that. And if you wanted, it, if you really wanted to, you could add a picture or something on here too. Like instead of this, you could have an aquarium. You could have space if you wanted to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a picture of that exactly. Well. Stars and stuff like this. Yeah. So in that case, let me just change this to make it easier to see later. All right, and that's all we're gonna do for this part, just just for demonstration. And here comes the actual light part. So I'm going to make this a little bit different than the actual eye part, just so that you can see what I mean when I say that it's different. I'm going to do an overlay just so I can make it a little bit brighter. Make it green too. Maybe a little bit of It's gonna look bad. Well, it was gonna look bad, but and I changed it. And if you want to make it look, well, actually, let me show you how to do that. Because if you want to make it look extra cool, in my opinion, 
what you should do is you should go like this. And then everything on the other side of this part. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Yeah, everything on this side. Make it like this. But first, change this. Just so that you can actually tell where you need to be at. Alright. So you can blend this into a whole bunch of stuff. And let's just change this to shape of the actual like. Alright. So and then I'm gonna add a little bit of point right here just to make it look like it's glowing. Alright, and that's the light trail. So once you make all the changes that you want, and you can do multiple characters at once, by the way, when you're doing this. Because um, see, I changed it. So everything is now updated. Well, actually, let me update this one. Okay, maybe I didn't save it yet. Yeah, I didn't save it. Alright, now that that's saved, you can see that this is now different. So to actually make the changes, because if you go into the game immediately, you're not going to see the changes yet. So what you need to do is instead, um, before going into anything, you need to go into your files. You're going to go to users, well, you're going to go to your hard drive that is on users, your name that you use, app, app data, roaming, and you will need to, in your view tab, it will say hidden items under the checkboxes, next to group by, add columns, and size all columns to fit, click hidden items, then you'll see app data, go to roaming, the emulator, emu disk, and then partition, well, yeah, just empty disk and delete everything but the one, the numbers one and two. So that means to hero three, four, five, six, seven, zero. Get rid of those. Just keep one and two. And then once you open it back up, then everything will be there for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. 